Hello guys, my name is Diego Francesco and this is another Revival video. In this video, um, we're gonna see some debug tricks on IntelliJ. So let's get started. So let me open my IntelliJ here and we will see five tricks today. So here we have a very simple Java application, right? We, we have a POSO with three fields named age and email, full constructor, empty constructor, get accessors, equals, hash code, and three string. We also have a main method. There are two methods to create two different POSOs, one method that assigns and print if the boolean is true, it prints something, otherwise it prints another thing, and then calls another print method, right? We just join two emails, and finally, it calls this method here, that if result is true, it's gonna throw an exception, right? So these two pushes are different, they are not true, so we'll print not the same, and will not throw the exception. So let's run this program here without the bug. And you can see it prints my name and same not the same as my email and join the two email. Great, it works. So now let's see the first debugging technique. So first technique is called field breakpoint. So it can put a breakpoint on the field. So every modification to the field is gonna trigger the debug. Um, by default, I'm not putting any condition here. So this will be triggered two times, right? Because you can see we are putting this breakpoint on the main property, right? The main field. So let's um, trigger uh, the debug. You can see trigger first time for Diego, then I'm gonna play again and get for Melina. We can do something more interesting, right? If um, we can apply some conditions. So for instance, I can say that the name needs to start with Mel and that's what I only care. So now if I debug this program, you see instead of I stopping two times, it stopped just one. And just for now, if I play it, you see it runs. So that's the first technique, field breakpoint. Now let's go to the second um, technique, technique, which is drop frame. So here uh, we have the first method main, then we call the signed and print, and the signed and print called print, right? So I'm gonna put a breakpoint here, and I'm gonna run the program again. As I run the program, you can see it stop exactly where I mark it, right? But let's say I want to debug actually the side and print. Well, what several folks will do would remove this breakpoint, put another breakpoint here, stop the program and run again. But actually you can go back to other method, right? By dropping the frame. If you click on this button here where it says drop frame. So I click it there, I go back to the side and print. And I can click again right and then I go back to main so that's very useful because now if I press F5 right I'm gonna go back to the side and print again right and I don't need to stop the program um, if I don't want to go back to main again I just drop the, the frame right and that's really useful because you don't need to stop uh, where you were and sometimes it takes some time to get where you were debugging right so that's uh, another interesting technique okay so the next technique is about um, log breakpoint. Often folks uh, print out stuff to understand what's going on, but that's tedious and you need to print and need to recompile, need to run again. Actually, you can use debug just to print the stuff, right? So I'm gonna put a breakpoint here and what we will do, we're gonna configure this breakpoint and we're gonna add evaluate and log. And now we can put a print expression. So I'm gonna say we are printing both objects here and I'm gonna print p1 which is variable p and I'm gonna print p2 this will call the three string method there p2 right and I just press enter now um, let me remove this one we don't need anymore um, as you can see the breakpoint is um, red right by default so it will print but it will also stop in here so let me show you guys. So let me run. As you can see, stop here. And when I play, I can see on the console, right, that it prints for me. So I don't need to keep compiling and recompile the code and change it. But if I just want to see printing stuff and I don't want to stop it, that's also possible. I'm just going to edit the breakpoint and I'm going to remove the suspend option. Now you're going to see it will turn orange, right? 
and then it's uh, evaluate only you don't stop here i run it you see no information and if i debug it you're gonna see extra information and as you can see it didn't stop it so it's a very cool technique so th the final two tricks i'm gonna show you is uh, we can put up exception breakpoint and we can also um, evaluate expressions on the fly so in order to put exception breakpoint you put a breakpoint all right you're going more and then uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove all my other breakpoints i have here you're gonna click on this plus and then you want to say that you want a java exception breakpoint and i want to get only io exception all right that's the exception i'm interested in uh, however if i debug this you're gonna see this breakpoint never uh, catch it all right you see it just run the whole program and the reason why is because result right uh, is a boolean and this method here is called by um this other method here right which it basically returns false right so uh, we we can on the fly change this code right so i'm gonna put a breakpoint here and that for me is the most powerful technique so i'm gonna debug again and then there's this kind of a small calculator called evaluate expression i can click it here or i also can click uh control u all right then i got it here here i can type any java code and i can reassign any variable any pose or any instance and that's really powerful because we can trick uh we can change the debug execution we can hack things and we can test expressions on the fly with the program running that's really really useful so as you can see results false so it won't um happen here all right so so if i continue the bug all right you're gonna see um that goes there right and then oops it's not working we lose it right well remember the drop frame i can drop frame and then i can go there again and that's false it won't enter well then what we do we go here and say okay now results true and then i press enter and result is true now we will enter here all right and if i press fx6 you can see it entered if i play it you can see it stop it here because now your exception breakpoint catch it all right you can debug it from here so that are very true power for techniques so let's say i want to set uh result to true in this case we will always enter here well then i don't need to evaluate expressions anymore and i can only have my um um exception breakpoint right so basically uh, i can remove um um uh, expressions here I can remove this breakpoint and I can have only the Java U exception right that's the only exception I'm interested in um, and then I'm gonna you see no breakpoints and I'm gonna debug again and I'm gonna go straight there all right as you can see it stops right there so these techniques these five techniques they're really useful to you know make you more productive with the bug to make the bug less tedious and they're really helpful right to do investigations and to figure out what's going on in your code and what's wrong so i hope you guys like it see you next time bye